going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rallet, and today I want to show you how you can make as many BP as possible fast and easy in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc. Now, BP are points you need to buy certain items, upgrade your actual, like, Terrarium and stuff to get access to, for example, start a Pokemon. They're not actually going to spawn until you upgrade your Pokemon uh, League Club. Once you've upgraded it, it costs, like, 3,000 BP, which takes a long time if you're playing solo. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to get these things, whether you're playing solo or in a group. But I'm going to be honest, if you're playing in a group, you're going to get, the, like, the most amount out. I had only 700 after almost an hour of playing, but now that I've grouped up with people from my Discord and from my stream, we already have 2,600. We made over 2,000 in no time. So what I'm going to tell you is basically this. Group up with people. I know that's pretty hard, so I have a link down below to our Discord. I made a specific group there where you guys can share codes and talk to others to set up groups because what you want to do is get in a group because then all your quests are going to be shared. So anything you do and your friends do will be shared but also you may gain access to golden quests. So golden quests give you up to 600 BP, and this is insane. And sometimes you may even get double quests that are red quests. Now these red quests will usually give you anywhere between 130 to 150, and sometimes they're easy to do, and sometimes they're hard to do. But I would highly recommend to go in and do it with a group. Now some of the small things I should point out about doing this is to try to stay in the same area as much as you can. It's not necessary, but it does kind of help if you're trying to like get very specific Pokemon because sometimes you'll have situations where the game will kind of demand you to catch dragon and steel types and those can specifically be found in like the canyon biome, right? So you want to try to stay in the same area, but sometimes like, for example, in this case, we have so many quests that we're being thrown all over the place to go find them. So I would just say group up with a few people, figure it out. Definitely get into our Discord down below to find groups of people. We have also like voice chats if you want to talk to them directly or if you just want to text, yes, to find too. But basically, the best method is to group up. Like I said, we have 2,600 just by running around. There is also another thing you can do, which is if you actually go to the center area of the map, like the center of the terrarium, there's actually like people you can talk to that will give you quests, right? And there's also these extra areas where you can talk to people, like literally talk to a bunch of NPCs, and they'll give you quests to battle people in the world. The problem is they only reward you with about 100 BP, so it might not be worth it. But still, if you want to get extra BP and you don't have anyone to play with, definitely maybe do those quests because they will give those to you as well. Another thing I should point out, though, which is to make sure to, like, fully upgrade your thing here. So what I mean is, after you've done 10 quests, you get bigger quests. Like, for example, you'll see now we have two new ones. Battle of Wild Terra Pokemon. These are Terra Pokemon that have the yellow aura. You'll find them all around the world. And then, for example, make a sandwich with three ingredients at least. And Battle of Wild Terra Pokemon twice. Now, what you will notice about this one is that it only gives 100 BP, but... We have it twice because Oscar and G Money both got it. That means that if they complete it only one time, both of these will actually be completed and we'll get 200 BP. Right now we have 2,930 and that is literally on the like precipice of getting 3,000, which is what you need to start to get the starter Pokemon to actually spawn. So in this case, we're doing great. We're set up. Like I said, join our Discord down below, find groups. It is the fastest method. I mean, look, I am doing nothing right now. I'm letting them run around. I mean, yes, it's a bit of a streamer privilege, but I'm just saying, if you group up with a bunch of people, you all run around, do it together. You're going to be done in no time. There you go. We got 3,000 already. So that means we can already go back to the actual, like, you know, we can go back to the, the gym or the league um, and actually go and upgrade our league club. In this case, here you guys can see this brand new, like, golden quest. So these are what happens when you've completed three of the red quests together. Now, these golden quests can be a little bit more difficult. We had one quest where we need to find the carrying Pokemon, which is Alamomola. In this case, we need to find four Ditto blocks in the Canyon biome. These things can be honestly anywhere, so it can be a little bit difficult to find them. Um, so I would recommend that maybe, like, you know, if you get stuck on that one, the thing is you can't really, like, I don't know if you can get rid of these, like, if it's really smart to do it. You can't really get rid of it because you're playing with others. If you want a guide, you can always click it, and it will tell you where they're found. So in this case, it says the Canyon biome. I think we currently are in the Canyon biome, so we have to look around in any formations that are formed anywhere, and we should be able to find them. But like I said, you can easily do this. You can also reset, change the, the quest that you have, right? Make new groups and stuff like that. Like maybe with the same people, you can be like, hey, this quest is bad for all of us. Let's reset it and try again. But all you got to do is get on Union Circle and do it. Of course, it may be difficult if you don't have Nintendo Switch online. It might make it troublesome. But other than that, though, this is pretty much all you need. It's the fastest way to get it. Play with others. I have been barely doing anything. These guys have just been doing all the work, to be honest, which is shout out to them, actually. 
for being able to like help out. But if you guys can see right here, there's just a bunch of very quick, easy quests you can do. Like I'll just try to help out here by sending out this auto battle because you just get like easily like 20, 30 BP, like it's nothing. And we just got 3,400. So that's what I mean, guys. If you want to get it really fast, really easy, group up. Our Discord is linked down below. So thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, if you have any further questions, you guys can ask it in the Discord. You can ask it in the comment section. But for the most part, this is the best way. And also, like I said, you need this. If you want to get certain upgrades and make progress in the game, you need this. You're not going to be able to actually get spawns of certain Pokemon without this being the case. Like if you don't have other people helping you out uh, to get these BP points, like faster, you're going to have to take a long time to get to 3,000. Like I spent already a, over an hour to get to 700, but it's going to take you a while because we're about to hit 3,500. Like it goes very quickly once you've grouped up with people to do it together. So like I said, get into a squad, do it together. Our Discord is down below. It's all you need. And I'm very excited to see you guys try it out yourself. Like I said, group up with people, link down below. There's not really any more methods that I can say. Like I said, the, some of the quests can be a little bit annoying. Like the TM quest, for example, if you find the quest that specifically asks you to make a TM, if you don't know how to do this one, it's inside of the terrarium. Like if you go here on the map, we go to the middle of the terrarium, like this middle section right here, you can actually find the machine that makes you TM. So if you go there, you can complete that quest in particular. So we're going to do that right now just to kind of demonstrate how that's done because some of the quests can be a little bit confusing. And if you ever struggle with one of them, I would definitely recommend just going on Google, not to search up like some of the basic ones, but like, for example, uh, the golden ones can be a little bit complicated because sometimes they'll be asking you to look for a very specific Pokemon. But if you just look up that term, you will be able to find it. And also, they sometimes have the sound you can listen to that will give you the hint as well. So if you know the cry of the Pokemon, you'll be able to find it. But there you go. We just completed that and we got another completed quest on the top there. And of course, we still need to find those ditto blocks, which is very difficult. So instead of doing that, we're going to be making a salty sandwich. We can do that. We can also take a picture of a Pokemon in the polars. Like a lot of the small quests can be done pretty quickly. And if we do all of them, like for example, I need to still do one, like travel 500. So if I just run around in a circle, that should unlock another, I think, red quest for us, which we need, unless the one that's currently there is mine. No, this is mine. So I need to make a salty sandwich. So once I complete that one, we should also have like a chance of another golden one showing up because you can basically like kind of stack these. I don't know if you can stack the golden ones particularly, but the red ones can be stacked. So uh, definitely do that if you want to just get it through it quickly. So as you can see, in the time I've been talking to you guys, we've already hit 3,600 BP, which is incredibly fast. Like, okay, 3,600, that's already on the amount we need. And now we also can defeat 10 Pokemon in auto battle real quick, which will give us the like, you know, remaining amount. Let's just get to 4,000 if we can, because it will be just very helpful to see that. So here you go. I'm gonna take down that sauce buck. I'm gonna just pick up some items because basically in a group, this stuff goes so fast if everybody's just doing their job. Like if everybody's like, you know, doing what they're supposed to do, like in my case, I'm not doing shit. But, you know, if everybody's doing their job, unlike me, you'll be able to get through this in no time. So here we go. Pick up a few more items on the ground. And there we go. Got another one completed. See what I mean? Like it goes very quickly and you can unlock a lot of stuff. And I think the other guys actually did the salty sandwich because you can do each other's quests. You don't need to just do it your own. Like you can actually do other people's quests as well. In this case, you can see Oscar's quest at the bottom. Mine's are at the top here. Uh, make it TM again. Like I have literally the same quest once again. So if I just go back, I can do the exact same one once more. But like I said, Discord is down below. Go do it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. I know this is maybe a little bit of a rambling one, but I hope it helps you out.